stop. Hello, and welcome back to another PSA by the Amogus Prevention Center. A quick reminder that you can buy our official apparel to support the cause of preventing and treating Amogus. Warning, this video contains the following trigger words. If you are sensitive to any of the topics listed on your screen, do not continue watching. With that out of the way, let's get into our important message. Recently, a new strain of Amogus has emerged and is currently spreading quickly around the globe. This new strain, Amogu-16, is similar to the standard variant of Amogus, but much more severe. Its suspected origin is somewhere in Brazil, but it is now common in the US, UK, Italy, and several other countries. For general tips on preventing and treating Amogu-16, watch our previous video on Amogus. However, many of the tips provided in that video do not apply to Amogu-16 and there are some additional strategies that apply to Amogu-16 which we will discuss in this video. Now, let's cover the symptoms of Amogu-16. Amogu-16 generally comes in three stages. Stage 1 is almost indistinguishable from the original strain of Amogus, and patients infected with Amogu-16 generally exhibit the following symptoms. Recognition of objects as characters from the 2018 video game Among Us. Everyday use of slang such as imposter or sus. Very wide or eerie smiles. If you suffer from any of these symptoms, it is important that you see a professional Redditor in order to determine whether you have Amogu-16. At stage 1 of Amogu-16, only minor brain damage will have taken place and is mostly reversible with treatment. More detailed instructions exist in the previous PSA, but to summarize, Remove anything resembling the crewmate from the 2018 video game Among Us from your immediate vicinity. Cut yourself off from the outside world and avoid smiling or being happy in general. The last step should not be particularly hard for most people. However, it is easy for the initial symptoms of Amogu-16 to slip past unnoticed. The symptoms of the second stage of Amogu-16 are easily identifiable and hard to miss in other people, but it is notoriously difficult to detect these symptoms in yourself. The second stage of Amogu-16 is associated with the following symptoms. Warped view of history where major figures become dysmorphic caricatures of themselves which also vaguely resemble characters from the 2018 video game Among Us. Excessive or inappropriate response to certain stimuli, usually music or sound cues. Inability to stop talking about Among Us. As stated earlier, it is much easier to see these symptoms in others than it is to see them in yourself. As such, we will provide examples of patients exhibiting symptoms of stage 2 Amogus in order to show the viewer what to look out for. Symptom number 1. Warped view of history. This symptom is sometimes hard to identify, since it requires the victim to be discussing history or historical figures. Usually, they will use a strange accent when saying the name of historical figures, like this. Columbus. These are based off an incident where a disgruntled Brazilian man said the word Amogus in a similar manner and tone. Amogus. Symptom number two, excessive or inappropriate response to stimuli. This symptom is most easily seen when certain sounds are played, usually relating to the 2018 video game Among Us in some way. The most prolific of these sounds is the emergency meeting sound effect, or any distorted variant of this. This includes the infamous remix of the sound, which is currently the strongest trigger for this symptom. Other triggers include the splat sound effect, also from the original Among Us video game, the start game sound effect, as well as edited versions of these. Additionally, research suggests that simply mentioning Among Us forcefully enough can trigger a response from infected individuals. Symptom number three, inability to stop talking about Among Us. Symptom three is the easiest to identify, and it is also the simplest to explain. The victim will repeatedly mention Among Us whenever they can fit it into the conversation. When this is not possible, they will start randomly blurting out things like Among Us or start singing the stupid emergency meeting song. In some cases, the victim can become self-aware of this symptom and begin having a mental breakdown, 
as demonstrated in this video clip. Stage 2 of Omogu 16 is much more severe than the first. It causes irreversible brain damage to the victim, and even with intense treatment, the best the patient can hope for is that they will stop talking about Among Us. Victims of Omogu 16 will likely remain vulnerable to certain audio triggers and will have a permanently distorted view of history. Stage 3 of Omogu 16 is very rare, because normally anyone showing stage 2 symptoms will be admitted to a hospital or asylum immediately after they were diagnosed. However, there are a few documented cases of stage 3 Omogus. Be warned, the following descriptions are graphic in nature. The known symptoms of stage 3 are as follows. Changes to bone structure and complete breakdown of central nervous system. Extreme muscle atrophy in arms to the point of requiring amputation. Modification of brain structure and head shape. Changes to respiratory system which create an aversion to oxygen, requiring specialized suits to counteract. Mysterious death by apparent homicide within two to four weeks. There is no footage of patients with stage three symptoms, but for the purposes of this PSA, we have created a digital replica of someone infected with Omogus. The skeleton is made to be nearly the same width throughout the body, and nerve centers on the skin simply rot away, meaning the victim can feel nearly nothing. The victim's arms become so useless that doctors usually decide to amputate them, since they can't feel it anyway. The brain experiences deterioration, specifically in the frontal lobe, which nearly disappears. This causes the victim to basically become a monkey in terms of intelligence. The neck widens to the point where it is hard to say where the head ends and the body starts. In all cases of stage 3 Omogus, the victim has been found mysteriously snapped in half in a dark room. It is unknown if this is a result of Omogu 16, or if there is something else occurring. But in any case, there is no known treatment for stage 3, so it is important to prevent it at all costs. At this time, medical professionals are unsure of what can be done to prevent Omogu 16 from spreading, but the Omogus Prevention Center has issued some temporary instructions. First, keep an eye out for people exhibiting symptoms of Omogus listed previously. If you see someone who could be infected, it is important that you prioritize your own safety before getting them help. Do not directly interact with infected people. Instead, get them medical attention and self-isolate for the next two weeks. If you experience any symptoms yourself, seek immediate care and try not to interact with anyone you care about for a while. At this time, there are no government restrictions in place for Omogu 16, so it is up to you to prevent the spread of this dangerous disease. Thank you for watching.